Have you ever contemplated the true value of time? Today we find ourselves in a world where time slips through our fingers like sand. We are meticulous with our possessions, yet we squander the one thing that is truly irreplaceable. Time. The Roman philosopher Seneca had a keen understanding of this. He observed that while we are frugal with material wealth, we often waste the non-renewable treasure of time. Now let us delve into the wisdom of Seneca and the essence of his book, On the Shortness of Life. In the first part of the book, Seneca examines the value of time. He paints a vivid picture of humanity's relationship with time, likening us to reckless spendthrifts who squander our most precious resource. Seneca argues that we often lose ourselves in trivial pursuits, not realizing that the ticking clock of life is incessantly moving and with every tick we're losing a moment that we can never get back. He famously states, it's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. This profound statement underscores Seneca's belief that we are often our own worst enemies, frittering away our time on meaningless activities instead of cherishing every moment. In his view, we should treat time as a non-renewable resource, a treasure to be guarded jealously. Seneca urges us to live in the present and make the most of every moment. Seneca then explores what it means to live well. He encourages us to consider life as an art, where each decision and action shape the masterpiece of our existence. For Seneca, the key to a fulfilling life lies not in the accumulation of material wealth or the pursuit of fame, but in the cultivation of wisdom and personal growth. He believed that every moment spent learning, contemplating and growing as individuals is time well spent. This notion deviates from the common societal view that measures success by wealth, power or fame. Seneca urges us to turn inward, to focus on our minds, our character and our understanding of the world. In Seneca's words, it is not the man who has too little but the man who craves more that is poor. The final part of Seneca's book deals with the concept of mortality. Seneca, the Stoic philosopher, invites us to reflect on the inevitability of death. For him, death is not a dreadful end, but rather a natural part of life. It's something we all share, regardless of our station, wealth or accomplishments. It is an equalizer, reminding us of our shared human condition. But there's a twist to Seneca's philosophy. He argues that the fear of death often robs us of our ability to fully appreciate life. We become so consumed with the idea of our inevitable end that we forget to live in the present. He urges us to cast aside this fear and embrace the certainty of our mortality. In Seneca's view, it's not about how long we live, but how we live. It's about the depth of our experiences, the bonds we form, the knowledge we acquire, and the good we do. A life well lived, he suggests, is not measured in years, but in deeds. Seneca's wisdom prompts us to reconsider our relationship with time, with life, and with death itself. He encourages us to live fully, to seize the day, and to fill our lives with purpose and meaning. In the grand scheme of things, our time on earth is fleeting. But that doesn't make it any less valuable. As Seneca puts it, life is long if you know how to use it. But let's take a moment to reflect on the lessons from On the Shortness of Life. This ancient tome, penned by the wise Seneca, holds profound wisdom that resonates even today. We've delved into the value of time, understanding that it is not fleeting, but rather, we are. We've pondered the art of living, recognizing that a good life isn't measured by years, but by the richness of our experiences and the depth of our understanding. We've also grappled with the balance of life and death. Accepting mortality is not a morbid contemplation, but a catalyst for appreciating the present and living fully. These timeless teachings encourage us to evaluate our own use of time. Are we truly living or merely existing? Are we squandering our precious hours or investing them wisely? As we part ways today, remember Seneca's wisdom, the part of life we really live is short. 